everybody, this is Maxwell McGee here again at CES 2012. Today I'm joined by Chris from Aiken Labs, who's going to talk us through his immersive motion accessory system. Did I say that right, Chris? Sure did. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, hello, I'm Chris Aiken with Aiken Labs, and I'll tell you a little bit about immersive motion. Uh, what immersive motion basically is, is a we have a version for the desktop, and we also have a version for mobile devices. It allows you to add up to eight motion points to your desktop application or to your mobile device. So the use of that is, is, let's say for the desktop, we created an accessory where you plug that into the desktop. That can be a PC, Mac, Linux box, even a PS3, any, basically any platform that supports USB. And what happens is you get a new keyboard, a new mouse, and four new joysticks, and then you're able to map the motion sensors to those standard devices. So let's say in a game, you have a, a PC game where originally the, the mouse had been used to control the look in the game, head look, you can map that to a sensor and then you can basically look around in the game by mounting the sensor wearing it on your head. So in addition to, to mapping movement to the devices, can you also map like keyboard clicks or mouse clicks? Can, what we have is we have a gesture engine and you as a user can create a gesture and you can assign that gesture to be a series of mouse clicks or keyboard macro, whatever you want in the game. Okay. Alright Chris, looks like we got your, uh, your protege Jonathan all strapped up here. Why don't you uh, talk us through what we're seeing? Okay. So basically what we're doing is we have assigned one of the hands to be the pointer. So his left hand is the pointer. And then he's just, we've got the right hand assigned as the gesture control. So what we've basically done is we've assigned a gesture and we're pushing the trees down by, by sending some keys to the application. So originally that would have been a P key, but we've assigned a gesture and mapped it on top of the keyboard. Okay? So you have like as we talk, the mouse emulation, joystick emulation, and also the gesture engine. So how complex can you get with these gestures? Well, it, really, you, you as a uh, user can define any set of gestures that you want per device. So you may have, uh, you can record your own gestures. They can be very complex if you want. They can last up to five seconds. Normally you wouldn't have a gesture that long, but you could do that and you can, you can have multiple sets. So for example, you may have a set of gestures that you have on the right hand that are for this specific game, a different set of gestures on the left hand for this specific game, and you can create profiles. So you may have a profile for World of Warcraft, you might have a different profile for Skyrim, you know, you can go sort of the sky's the limit. And then how do you switch between those different profiles? What you do is, is the um, solve configuration software, you can actually have it look for the application starting and it switches the, the server box into that mode. So it just happens automatically? It happens automatically. Once you configure it, it happens automatically. Well, actually, I want to take a step back because I just realized there's a hammer and shield with sensors attached over here. I want to take a look at these real quick. Well, what, what we're trying to do is to build the concept that since you can do your own interfaces, you don't have to limit this to your body. You can put it on objects. You can put it on the dog if you could figure out how to make that work. So what we've done is we've just to, to you know, stay with our medieval theme here, we've got whack control and what we've done is taken a LARPing hammer that we ordered off the web, put a sensor on it, and now Emily is uh, you know, <laughs> attempting to kill trolls here. All right. So, so really you're just, it's just whatever you can imagine, whatever you sky's can the limit. You can have a lot of fun and, we've, and that's one thing at the lab, we've had a ton of fun. We're just playing with different objects, you know, playing with different simulations. So uh, that's what the goal was, is to give that motion interface and the creativity back to the user. So Chris, when can players expect this technology to become available? Okay. This, the desktop technology is shipping. We're taking pre-orders now on the website. It will ship uh, sometime end of February, early March. Uh, and that uh, you know, will be available then. The mobile technology will be coming later in second quarter, probably sometime in the May-June time frame. It's available now for developers but it won't go into retail until late second quarter. All right, well, it looks like a ton of fun. Thank you so much for chatting with us. We appreciate it.